The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war breaks out against me, still will I be confident. God is my refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, I will not fear, though the earth gives way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though the oceans roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their search. In every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, I present my request to God, and the peace of God, who surpasses all understanding, will guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. The Lord will not cast me off forever. Though He brings grief, He will show compassion. So great is His unfailing love. His anger lasts only a moment, but His favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be discouraged. Therefore, I have set my face like a flame, and I know I will not be put to shame. I am hard pressed on every side by troubles, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. I know that in all things God works together for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. What then shall I say in response to these things? If God is for me, who can be against me? He who did not spare His own Son, but gave Him up for me, how will He not also along with me graciously give me all things? Who shall separate me from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? No. In all these things I am more than conqueror through him who loved me and gave himself for me. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, whether I am high above the sky or in the deepest ocean, Nothing in all creation would ever be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, my Lord. I trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding. In all my ways I acknowledge Him, and He will make my path straight. He will make my righteousness shine like the dawn and the justice of my cause like the noonday sun. I am confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns, and yet my heavenly Father feeds them. Am I not much more valuable than they? And why should I worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? So I do not worry, saying, What shall I eat? Or what shall I drink? Or what shall I wear? For a pagan run after all these things, and my heavenly Father knows that I am. But I seek for his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things are given to me as well. I flourish like a palm tree. I grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. I flourish in the courts of my God. I will bear fruit even in my old age. I will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, The Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you, and lead me along the path of everlasting life. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. 
polar I spent at my 